In this video, we'll look at a brief overview of material mapping. Initially here in Photoshop, you can see a series of maps that correspond to a stone floor. You see the stone tile pattern here as what will ultimately be the diffuse map inside our material. But there are correlating maps that go with the bump or the relief of the stone and also with the glossy and specular qualities of the floor. They don't exactly match up in terms of contrast because when it comes to bump and color, they mean something slightly different in a map. When it comes to bump, relief is going to be produced by the bright spots in the map and the recesses are going to be produced by the dark spots in the map. The locations where we see dark cracks and crevices and potentially joints between tiles would end up seeming recessed when rendered. Likewise, when it comes to the highlights and the glossy elements of the stone, the white or bright areas would appear to be brighter and shinier and glossier, and the dark areas would appear to be duller and less bright. All three maps need to be assembled in 3D Studio to produce a more realistic outcome. It's not sufficient simply just to have a color map and to place it on a geometry. Here is a representation of one of the floors from inside the wall house. This particular geometry was generated from a line that was extruded. So the line was drawn initially using the Create Shapes line. And if you can't complete a line in one move, it's possible to join and weld these together into a closed unit, just like a polyline in a CAD application. And then once you have that geometry uh, secured, then you could apply the extrude modifier. And then finally, uh, there's a UVW map parked on top of this that corresponds to the tiling that we wish to see on top of here. Let's take a look at the material editor. If I select the material editor, I have one material slot inside here. Under my diffuse channel, you could either select the none button or you could roll down to the maps and you'll see there in diffuse, I've brought in the diffuse map from this collection of Arrowway material maps that are being used here. One of the nice things about the Arrowway collection is that uh, they also include a value that corresponds to any of these channels. So you notice directly in the title we have tiles and the diffuse value is 100. The corresponding map that goes with specular and glossy um, also has values. So we have a specular value of 50 and we have a glossy value of 10. This is actually the same map used in both places here. And there's a third map in here for bump, and it has a value of 115, and that's what we're using inside bump. So when this is placed on the geometry, we end up seeing something that's not just simply the color, but we see the highlights and the depths and relief that would go with something like this stone. It's possible to build these maps up on your own. That's its own instructional video. When it comes to getting this to tile on here properly, you definitely make, need to make sure that the scale makes sense for the amount of real estate being covered. I'm assuming these stone tiles here are all going to be about a foot in width. You know, given the size of my geometry here, that's how I've scaled all of this. If you were working in mental ray, uh, you would take into consideration real geometries directly inside the materials. Just a brief note, because this is scanline, not to a particular scale. We don't have real world turned on and the tiling set to one. And likewise, in the UVW mapping, real world is turned off. So if I want to increase or decrease the scale of this here, we can make adjustments to our map and see that the spacing and size is adjusted accordingly. You should definitely stand inside the environment where this is being tiled so that you can get a sense of the scale being correct or not. Looking at it as a simple model like this, it might be difficult to get the scale correct unless, of course, you know the exact dimensions of the map and the geometry and how they work together. 